Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be based on the problem that were sent to me by one of my subscribers and here is the problem. Consider a cross involving grey, that is wild type and yellow body color true breeding Drosophila and we know Drosophila melanogaster as a fruit fly. So uh, the first cross uh, we cross grey female with yellow male and in F1 generation we obtained all males that were grey and all females that were grey. In F2 obtained uh, grey females were 98, yellow males 45 and grey males 49. And in cross number 2, yellow female, we have to cross with grey male. In F1 generation we obtained all males yellow, all females grey and when we once again cross them together in F2 generation, we have to find what would be expected ratios or absolute numbers of uh, these um, phenotypes. Maybe not all of them would be present, but still we have to find these numbers. For those students that want to outsmart your uh, professor and just want to reverse this numbers that we got uh, in a cross um, number one when we cross grey female and yellow male in cross number two we crossing yellow female and grey male uh, this is not uh, as easy as that and here uh, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem involving uh, what we have seen in the cross number one so it would be much easier for you to understand what we are going to get in the cross number two. In the first cross we had uh, grey female and we cross with yellow male. This trait is X uh, chromosome link trait and if you on your exam don't have um, colored pencils you may use instead of different colors uh, to designate different uh, X uh, chromosomes, for example for grey color uh, XG and for yellow color XY. So uh, I would use uh, different colors to designate different chromosomes, for example for uh, grey chromosome that um, have uh, gene for grey color I would use uh, this color of X chromosome and for yellow I would use this color. But uh, it is very easy just to change this um, variance of colors to this variance of notation. This is very easy. So uh, we are told that we cross grey female in this first cross with yellow male. So, so I would uh, put phenotype and genotype of the female here on the side of the Punnett square and male uh, genotype would be on top. Y chromosome doesn't contain any genes um, that um, code for this trait so I would use white color and when we build the Punnett square we can predict result of this cross and I also want to tell you that wild type, which is grey, would be dominant over the yellow. Because yellow is a mutant. Wild type is what we can find in nature. And uh, of course uh, this type would be dominant over the yellow, which would be recessive. So what we can expect uh, in this F1 generation. So this is going to be our parental generation and what we are going to put here would be our F1 generation. So F1 generation here. And genotypes would be as follows. So gray color uh, chromosome here, yellow color here, gray from the mother side here, yellow from the father side here, and X and Y here, X and Y here. So as you see 
uh, in the F1 generation, all females would be gray, the phenotype would be gray, and let me circle, and uh, all the males also, as you see, would be gray. Once again, uh, you have to remember that gray color is dominant over the yellow color. And this is exactly what we obtained. All males um, in F1 generation we got gray and all females also we got gray. And then uh, we cross these males with these females in order to obtain F2 generation. So F2 generation here and genotype of the male this time would be gray X chromosome and Y chromosome that doesn't um, have gene for any color so I use white color and uh, genotype of female this time would be heterozygous would have uh, gray X chromosome and yellow X chromosome of course uh, this notation, as I said, can be different. For example, for X yellow, you can use this notation, or and for X gray, you can use this notation. But uh, for me, it's much easier visually to show you a uh, solution with different colors. It would be easier for you to understand. So. Uh, here we have X and X, both uh, chromosomes that um, have gray uh, wild type uh, color pigment on the X chromosome would be inherited one from mother side, one from father side. So father side here, mother side here or females and male side, male side here and female side here. Next variant we may have uh, yellow X chromosome that have a gene that code for the yellow um, pigment uh, from female side and gray from the male side. X chromosome from the mother side here and Y chromosome from the father side yellow X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side. As you see, uh, in F2 generation, 50% um, of the progeny would be females, another 50% of the progeny would be males, but this time, uh, as you see, uh, females would be, 100% of them would be gray, and as for the males, 50% of them would be gray and 50% of them would be yellow. And this is exactly what we can see in F2 generation. Uh, this is absolute numbers, but ratio would be we obtained uh, 0.5 or 50% gray females. We also got uh, 0 0.25 uh, gray males and we got 0 0.25 uh, yellow males. This is going to be our ratio and as you see this ratio is exactly what we obtained here using this Punnett square. So now we uh, have explanation what happened in the cross number one and now let's find uh, what result we can expect in a cross number two. This time we have to cross um, yellow female, yellow female, and gray male, and gray male. Let me move uh, the slide a little bit and let's uh, see what's going to happen in this cross number two. So we have uh, yellow female, so this time uh, the parental generation would be as follows yellow female and gray male. That means that a male would have 
one great chromosome, X chromosome and Y chromosome. So let's build a Punnett square and find out what we are going to obtain. So two chromosomes here inherited from mother side and father side and this is going to be phenotypes and genotypes of the male progeny and as you see uh, we are going to get all females in F1 generation that is going to be phenotypically gray because gray is dominant over the yellow and 100% of the male progeny is going to be phenotypically yellow so this is going to be results of F1 generation once again this is female side and this is male side and uh, let's take a look F1 obtained all males are yellow and all females are gray and this is exactly what we got here and what we can expect in F2 generation so we have to cross these males with these females so let's do it and this is going to be male uh, genotype so Y chromosome here and female genotype is going to be heterozygous so yellow and gray chromosome when we build a Punnett square once again we can see all possible genotypes and phenotypes as a result of such a cross so this is going to be F2 generation this is female side and this is male side and here we have two yellow X chromosomes chromosomes that uh, code for the uh, gray pigment from the mother side and chromosomes that code for the yellow pigment from the father side uh, yellow uh, X chromosome here Y chromosome from the father side and gray uh, chromosome X chromosome and Y chromosome so let's now circle what the phenotypes we got here and as you see 50% of the female progeny are going to be phenotypically yellow another 50% of the female progeny are going to be phenotypically gray and as for the male progeny 50% of the male progeny are going to be phenotypically yellow and 50% of the male progeny are going to be phenotypically gray in other words, if we would uh, obtain in F2 generation 200 individuals, we can expect that gray males would uh, equal to about 50 individuals. Yellow males also would um, account for another 50 uh, individuals. Yellow females would uh, make also 50 individuals and gray females also would make uh, 50 individuals or the ratio would be as follows 0 0.25 or 1 quarter 0 0.25 here 0 0.25 here and 0 0.25 here or we can say 25% 25 25 and 25 so when we at all these numbers we are going to get 100% so as you see uh, these numbers and these ratios are very different from uh, what we got in the cross number one and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any uh, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye